Miss Jennifer here again. Are you ready to do some more watercolor art? I am. For this next project, we're gonna need a tray. Um, if you don't have a tray, you can use newspaper, a towel, anything, um, because this is a, gonna be a little bit messy. You're also gonna need a piece of watercolor paper. Put it in the tray. You're also going to need in your direction bag, your directions for the second project, which is watercolor painting with straws and pipettes. So put that aside. You can refer back to it as you need to. And you will need your bag that says watercolor painting with straws and pipettes. It's got some supplies in here that we're going to use today. Straws. These are pipettes. These are like uh, droppers, sort of like medicine droppers, eye droppers. And you will have some paint cups. If you don't have paint cups at home, um, or if you didn't get a kit, you can use any sort of container. You can also use just a plate as a palette. So let's get started. We're gonna take our watercolor paint and we're gonna make a very fluid paint. So I'm gonna take some yellow and I'm going to take it and put it inside one of these paint cups. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm using this water because I don't have really a sink next to me, but um, I'm using some water in here. And I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna use the bottom of a paintbrush. You can use a, a pipette if you want to as well, but. Now we have some very fluid yellow paint here. Now, like I said, if you don't have paint cups or any containers, you can also just mix up some paint on a palette, yes, like so. You want it to be very, very fluid. So lots of water. Okay, now let's take a straw. Get that ready to go. And we're gonna get uh, so a uh, pipette. Now the way this works is you squeeze it shut, put it in something, in the liquid, in the liquid paint, and then let it go. You see how the paint is going up into the pipette. Okay, I'm going to just squirt some down here. Then I'm going to take my straw. This is the fun part. This is the fun, messy part. And I'm gonna blow. Let's see what kind of shapes I get. This is fun. <laughs> okay. I think I want to put some red in next. So I love red. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do the red on this uh, palette so you can see how it works just as well. Lots and lots of water you want. And I'm going to take another one of my pets and squeeze it, put it in here, and let it go. Oops, we need more water. That's what we need. 
Not enough water. So this is why I say you have to have a lot of water in this. So now we have some red paint. Again, I'm just gonna have fun with it. Squeeze it out. Yeah, you know what? I need more water. Well, there we go. Let's get more water. Okay, let's try this again. Do some, do some brown next. See some more brown. I'm gonna go ahead and do the brown in this paint cup again because that seemed to work better. that up. And just going to wipe this off a little bit. All the paint's going to get mixed up together, all the colors, so don't worry about it too much. Um, if you have some a little bit of yellow paint in this, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna squeeze it shut, and then there we go. Fill up the pipette, and ooh, yes, cool, huh? Now I'm gonna take my straw that I dropped somewhere. So that's why I gave you two. <laughs> and oh, here it is. Here's my pen. We'll do this. this until you have a lot of really cool shapes you'll notice how the colors mix together because they're so liquid when they when they hit each other they mix and make another different color so just continue doing this until you're happy with it you're going to want to let it dry for at least 24 hours and once it's dry you can go back in with either watercolor paint or with uh, colored pencils or markers if you have those at home um, and add some things to it. If you see patterns or shapes, whatever you see in there, you want to bring out, that's what you should do. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanna to give you a, a look at one that's dry so you can see what the final product is gonna look like. And here we go. We have one that is dry. Um, I will go back into this with my colored pencils. And I am seeing, this looks like a map to me. It looks like um, sort of a, a, a map of the world. These look like continents. So I think I'm going to take a blue pencil and maybe color in some water for the ocean around these. What do you think? This, this looks like a, a peninsula right here. Let's surround it with water. And 
Um, but when I'm done, we'll post a picture on Facebook of the finished piece. Please post your finished pieces too on Facebook. I would love to see what you did. And also please fill out our survey. Let us know what you think about our classes, what else you might want to learn about, and join me for the next time. Thank you.